All right, we finished deplating that fork right here. Uh, it still kind of looks a little silvery, but I think it's some sort of uh, alloy, brass alloy that isn't as dark as, and yellow as normal. But anyway, I got all the silver off of it. It took about an hour or so. And uh, here's what our container looks like. There's a lot of sediment at the bottom. So we're going to filter all that out and the silver should be at the bottom. So let's go over to the sink and we could pour this directly into the kitchen sink because it's uh, just uh, salt water. So, okay, let's pour it out. Use a steady pour. And all the sediments and heavier objects will uh, stay at the bottom. Don't go too fast. I'm going to put a little more water in this to help uh, rinse it out. Give it a good rinse. Let it settle to the bottom for a second. I'll continue uh, to pour it off. All that down there, that's the silver. Alright, now let's put a little water into it. About like that. And then uh, remember that funnel and the coffee filters? Well, we're going to use the funnel on the coffee filters now. You want to do uh, something like this. Put the funnel in a jar, then put the coffee filter in the funnel, and then you just kind of pour it in. And a lot of times the silver will stay in here. So we just add a little more water to it. Maybe go a little quicker when you pour it. Just 
keep doing that until the silver gets into the uh, into the coffee filter. Let that drain out a little bit. Still a lot in here. Another thing you can do is take a spray bottle and just hold it above the filter and spray into there and it'll all fall out. So, uh, alright, all the water drained out of here. A uh, little trick you can do is to take a spray bottle and spray down the sides. That way all the silver that's around the edges will uh, go to the bottom there where all the rest of it is. So anyway, what you do now is take it out of the uh, funnel and I just have a paper plate with a paper towel on it and put that out lay that out let it dry that's all our silver in there it's quite a lot for one fork so uh, there's gonna be a little bit of brass in there and some other impurities but when we smelt it, it'll all burn out of there and we'll be left with uh, nothing but silver. So, Alright, I'm going to let this dry and then I will weigh it and we'll see how much silver one fork gets us. Alright, our silver's been drying for about two hours or so. We had it in the oven on the lowest setting for about a half hour, so that dried out any, uh, any other moisture that may be in there. Um, this is the silver flakes from one fork that we did earlier. Uh, let's see how much silver we got. Uh, you, you can see that's uh, set to zero. It's on grams. Let me uh, set the camera down and weigh this. And that says 2.4 grams, but uh, from one fork, that's actually pretty darn good. So I know it took a while to do this, it took about an hour, and then some time drying, but it's well worth it if, you, if uh, all you can find is uh, silver-plated items at the thrift store. So hopefully it was educational and you learned something but if you have any comments or uh, anything I could improve on this method let me know and uh, maybe later I will melt all this into a silver button and after I collect some more and maybe make a video on me doing that so alright thanks for watching